Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Lark again, and I'm back in the library. I hope you've been reading since uh, the last time I sent a video. And I wanted to thank Mia, who uh, filled out my form and told me she's reading a collection of stories, a book that has a whole bunch of different stories in it. And that's a great thing to choose. There's lots of books like that, that have short stories. So you can read a little bit of the book and then put it down. And then the next day or the day after, read a little more about, more, a little more in the book and it'd be an entirely different story. So that's a great idea. So if that interests you and you'd like to read something different every day, picking um, a collection of short stories is a great choice. So thank you, Mia, for sharing. Also today, I wanted to share another choice for our older students, especially my fifth graders who are going on to sixth grade. If you haven't read it yet, there's the follow-up to Wonder called Augie and Me. So if you enjoyed the book Wonder and you want to know more about some of those characters, you can choose the book Augie and Me to read over the summer to get ready for sixth grade. Now today's book that I'm going to share with you is called Poor Louie. And poor Louie's story is um, about a little dog and he expects one thing to happen and he's convinced that that's what's gonna happen. But maybe sometimes when we're really convinced that something's gonna happen, something entirely different ends up happening. So let's find out why this little puppy is called poor Louie. Here we go. And you can still fill out that form to let me know what you're reading. And if you need it, you can email me. I'll be happy to email it to you. But here we go. Poor Louie. Here he is. Oh, hello. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here in the dark by myself with all this stuff. Well... If you guessed that I tried to run away tonight, you're right, I did. Why? Well, that's a long story. I can tell you if you'd like. My name is Louie, by the way, or it was. Now they just call me Poor Louie. My life was great. Every morning started with a walk, rain or shine. On Sundays, we do fun things like go for a stroll in the park, eat ice cream, or go shopping. Pretty much every day of the week ended the same. Dinner, a movie, a kiss goodnight, and then off we went to sleep. Once in a while, Mom and I would have a play date with her friends. It was great. Everyone paid attention to me. But then one day, they started to appear. First, there was just one, then two, then four. They pulled on my ears and squeezed my tummy. Mom! Poor Louie. Yeah, I know. They smell good and they do walk on all fours. I'll give them that. But geez, all I could say was thank goodness we'd never have one of those in our house. Yep, life was pretty perfect with just the three of us. Then let me tell you, things got weird. First it was dinner, cold on the floor. Poor Louie. I still have my walks, I guess, sort of. Bedtime wasn't fun at all anymore. Over time, mom's belly grew and grew and grew until one night, it kicked me. Boop. 
from that night on, I slept on the floor. Just me and my food dish. Things couldn't possibly get worse, right? Wrong. One day, Mom and Dad came home with lots of new stuff. At first, it seemed okay. There were two beds. Fun. Two hiking pouches. Good. Can't have enough of those. Two sweaters. Cute. Two hats. Okay. But, wait a minute, I thought. What's that thing? Two seats. And that's when it hit me. Poor Louie. One of those creatures I could handle, but two, no way. Then mom and dad just rushed off, to, rushed off and left me all alone, not even a kiss goodbye. Well, that was the last straw. I got all of my things together and ran away forever. The coast was clear. I was on my way when Louie, now how did you get out? I must have left the door open. Your mom and dad will be home soon. Back you go. And that's it. The end. My life is over. You can close the book now. Thanks for listening. Lou. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen. Louie, meet your baby brother. My baby brother? My baby brother. Poor Louie. So boys and girls, even though his mom and dad were getting two of everything, and Louie was worried there were two babies coming to the house, who ended up taking that second seat and that second hat and that second sweater? <laughs> so Louie turned out to be wrong. What he was worried about, it wasn't that at all. He was getting a baby brother and he was being treated just like the baby. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story and I'd love to know what you're reading. Stay well, everybody. And next time we read, I'm going to wear my mask because it's important for us to practice wearing our masks. When we come back to school, we're going to probably have to wear them for quite a bit of the day. So it's good to practice. Maybe even when you listen to me read a story to you, you can practice wearing your masks just to get used to it. All right, everybody, I miss you. Hope you're having a great summer. And I hope you enjoyed my book, Poor Louie. Bye-bye, everyone.